reminding people like what the you know the mission of Tesla is to accelerate the advent of sustainable transport. The sooner we do it, the better it is. It's the first uh, SUV that's five stars in every category. Four star would be a 15% probability of injury in a, in a high speed accident. Five star would be 10%. Uh, hypothetically, if there was a six star, it would be at 5%. And we've been able to get with the Model X uh, what, an, an expected rating of about 6.5%. With a gasoline car, you've got a large steel engine block in front. And so in a high-speed impact, that engine block compresses into the passenger compartment and obviously causes uh, damage to the people that are sitting there. With, um, the, with the Model X, there is no such, it's no such thing. The net effect is that you've got a much larger uh, distance for the crumple zone. Side impact, the Model S and the Model X are about half of the next best. I mean, this is the difference between life and death. This is a really big difference. Uh, because it has a low center of mass with the battery pack and the floor pan, um, has half the rollover propensity of any SUV or minivan. The Model X comes standard with active safety, which includes uh, automatic emergency braking and side collision avoidance. So the car will actually use the camera and the radar to automatically brake before there's an accident, and it will use the ultrasonic sensors around the side of the car to steer you away from a side collision. And these are active all the time, and it's just a standard feature in the car. Not only is it 10 times larger area, but the, the quality of the filter is greater. So that translates to a, a several hundredfold improvement in the filtration capability. You have air cleanliness levels which are comparable to a hospital operating room in the car. We can't even detect uh, any viruses or bacteria or spores, so it's like zero. A apocalyptic scenario of some kind, hypothetically, you just press the bioweapon defense mode button. This is a real button. <laughs> What we also have is an auto-presenting front door. And detect that I am moving towards the, the front door. It will open the front door without me touching anything. I will sit down and it will close the door, like an invisible chauffeur. It's a panoramic windshield, so it comes up and over and feels like a hel helicopter cockpit when you're driving. If, if you have, say, a child seat here, that instead of having to, to cantilever um, out in front and sort of put them basically into a small hole, um, you, you can actually just stand right here. You can actually step into the car if you want, and you can just put your child down in the child seat. It makes a huge difference in terms of your back strain and comfort. Obviously, a question with the doors is, so how do they fit in tight spaces? Well, we'll show you. There's only about uh, a few inches separating the side mirrors um, on each side of the car. So we're gonna open the Falcon Wing doors when there's barely enough room to squeeze between the, the two cars. When the minivan door opens, I can't even get through that space. So let's close the minivan door. Now the Falcon Wing door is open. <laughs> but what if you have a low garage? That's one of the most common questions I get about the Model X. The car actually automatically senses what the roof height is. So there are ultrasonic sensors in the, in the roof of the car that calculate the roof height and automatically compute a new opening arc depending upon what the height of the ceiling is and what the side obstacles are. So the Model X is capable of uh, towing 5,000 pounds. <laughs> so 5,000 5, pounds while carrying seven people and quite a lot of luggage. Say you want to carry skis, bikes, um, and uh, you want to do that quickly and easily. Uh, we made an accessories hitch uh, that can be put on by a kid in approximately 10 seconds. Thank you. I think that was more like five seconds. <laughs> so the accessories hitch can carry uh, up to four bikes or up to six sets of skis. 257 mile range, all wheel drive of course, um, and it gets to 60 miles an hour in 4.8 seconds. P90D ludicrous. I mean, this goes so fast, it's wrong. Uh, this is an SUV, and it'll do zero to 60 in 3.2 seconds. I'd like, thank you, and like, thank the, the Tesla team who worked super hard to make this uh, night work. All right, thanks, have a good night. <laughs>